In this last section, we're going to cover secondary processes, the most important ones, and without them, the refinery couldn't exist per se. So we have several types of them. First one will be hydrogen uh, production. If the catalytic reformer is not producing enough hydrogen gas, you will need to take another, let's say, pathway to produce hydrogen. Typically, we have either CO pathway, we have methane path, and so on. After talking about that, we also produce syngas, which is a fuel used in refineries. If you have fuel gases, you can also have syngases. And if you're producing ammonia on the site, you're also going to encounter syngases for ammonia. We also have amine treatment units. That's very important. Remember that we use hydro treaters to remove sulfur from the units. That sulfur converted into hydrogen sulfide. And remember that we don't try to aim to burn hydrogen sulfide. We need to treat it and from the clause process we take sulfur from the hydrogen sulfide and produce solid or elemental sulfur. Then we also have the amine recovery, we have uh, treatment of wastewaters, we have many other secondary units but for now I think knowing what are they and how they help the refinery will be good enough. So, Let's start this section and I will see you in the next lecture.